The content on this channel is for educational and informational purposes only. Nothing we say or do should be considered advice. No tax, legal, accounting, investment, or any other kind of advice. Anything you invest in is at your own risk. Do your own research and consult with professionals. Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. Uh, there is another proposal out that we want to talk about, and this is our, our special guest here. Uh, this is Drake from, uh, for, is it Metric, Metric Dow? Yes, Metrics Dow Council member joining and us. Here, thank here you, is Drake, the Metric Dow Council member. Drake, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to let Joseph take over. Who the hell is Drake? Why do we have him on the show, Joseph? What's going on with this? Yeah, so this week we're actually starting to see uh, a, a new proposal that's coming live or will be coming live. Uh, right now it's being shared on the Commonwealth. I'm going to be sharing my screen here. It is essentially just a temperature check for a Metrics DAO on-chain data cur curation grant. Uh, and back in the day, there was always that known use case of using flip side analytical data. And the Terra chain was famous for having that access. And now today, as opposed to being a flip side based uh, data curation, they're going to be going through a much more decentralized manner of creating those data tables. Uh, from my understanding, they're going to be going through Metrics DAO. Uh, and Metrics DAO is a basically a conglomeration of some key firms throughout the, the analytical sphere for on chain analysis in the crypto blockchain space. Uh, and this is going to be a very, very pivotal change for the chain as well, because with having the on-chain metrics, new protocols will actually be able to gauge how they're performing, see what they need to do to optimize their performance. But enough coming from me, Drake, thank you so much for coming on. I want to hear your side of what you guys have got going on in store for Terra V2. Amazing. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys having me on. Uh, excited to chat about this proposal, talk a little bit of metrics now and um, answer any questions that you guys might have. Um, in Metrics now, we've got a really awesome, uh, you know, community of analysts, a large network. Uh, we've got about 2,500 people in our Discord and about 200 active participants in our analytics programs. Um, but the most relevant group for this proposal is our really strong self-organizing data curation team. Uh, so we've got a group of about 10 or 15 uh, team members that are sourced from the community. They come in, they work on open source repos to create DBT and Snowflake projects uh, and get data to a place where it can be viewed by anyone. So um, with this proposal, what we're looking to do is to curate the data for Terra 2 and make it available for anyone that knows SQL to come in and use it. So as Joseph was talking about in the past, um, Flipside had done this for Terra, made the data available. From that data, anyone can build any insights they're looking at or they're looking for. Um, but for Terra 2, uh, Metrics DAO is, is really eager to take this opportunity and uh, make this data available. So I'll pause there for a second, uh, Joseph. But happy to take this in any direction. Yeah. So as far as the data curation process, how much of a how much of an involvement does the metrics DAO have uh, as compared to what a flip side process would be? Is it rather similar or is it kind of just the same or just is it just a generally different way of curating the data? Uh, that's a good question. I, I'd say from a technical infrastructure standpoint, it's very, very similar. Uh, both teams are using DBT and Snowflake infrastructure stacks. Um, as well as some proprietary flip side technology to, to make the data come off the chains in a decoded manner. Um, but the, the real difference is an organizational style and, and working style. So flip side is, you know, corporation, uh, big company, really strong analytics team. Uh, Metrics DAO is, you know, a DAO. We're, we're an on-chain organization. We have community members from all over. Um, we then source more community members. Community members or team members kind of come in and go. They have different types of commitments than someone at a more traditional organization would have. Um, and it was really impressively. So we're, we're going into season two in metrics now right now, but um, throughout season one, it was really, really beautiful to watch this curation group blossom um, and become one of the most self-organizing, self-managing parts of our organization. Um, and we're eager to uh, get some, something more in front of them. And they're excited about Terra as well. Well, now, Drake, um, there is um, a validator on Terra V2 that's run by Flipside. And I think some of the early maybe apprehension around this proposal is like, wait a minute, Flipside runs a validator, but they also have a proposal. Uh, what is there a difference? Can you can you draw a clear distinction between what Metrics DAO does and what Flipside does or, or those groups? What How are they different? Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you bringing that up. Um so I think, you know, it's it's important to say that in full transparency, Flipside has uh, team members that work in Metrics DAO full time. Uh, and Flipside has also provided financial capital along with that human capital uh, to help Metrics DAO grow. Um, with that said, though, Metrics DAO is really a totally different group of people. So uh, if you think about uh, 
flip side, doing an analytics project or a curation project for a data client, uh, they're going to be using their fully staffed team. Uh, we have a team of 12 analysts at Flipside that are awesome, um, but it's a really uh, more traditional way to do things. Uh, the way that we're doing it in Metrics now is we're really opening things up to anyone that has the skills to come in and do data curation. So um, instead of you know maybe hiring people through a more traditional hiring uh, pipeline, we source individuals that are passionate about working on these projects. Uh, we make that work available to them and we pay them from the grants that we receive uh, and they stick around if they're passionate about it. Um, we really believe in Metrics Dow that getting the people that are the most interested uh, will lead us to getting the best results. So I actually want to dig a little bit deeper on your guys' past and your guys' experience. Uh, I know that the Metrics Dow has done this data curation for other chains. What other stuff and insights have you guys gleaned for other blockchains? Yeah, yeah. So we've done data curation at this point for Harmony and for Near. Um, through our Harmony engagement, we came up with some, you know, really awesome data that was not available anywhere else uh, at this point. And the Harmony data streams and feeds that we've created are actually being used on the Harmony native block explorer to inform uh, general metrics there. So once again, once we kind of have this foundational layer of data curation, really anything can be built on top of that. Um, I know that people always want the metrics. They want to go right to the metrics. How many wallets are active here? How many transactions are happening per day? None of that can happen until the data is curated. And data curation is a pretty intense, difficult thing um, that we're fortunate to have found uh, the right team members to move it forward. I actually want to pull that up right there. And now that you mentioned that, it's actually ironic that the very first things that we get from the Harmony blockchain are those things. Transactional history, the active wallets. Uh, and when you click the link over here and you head on over to the actual analysis portion, it, it gets a little bit deeper. Uh, you can start seeing more of the average transactional volume, the over time, uh, one token pricing. Um, and then you can even get into more different insights and even the methodology of how that all that was found. Um, I think this is incredible stuff. Uh, and I remember back in the day when Terra, Terra V1 was in its prime. And I know that when the whole Prism protocol thing was launching and I was having issues wrapping my mind around how the hell Prism st liquid staking worked and how you could refract assets. Jimmy was able to create some, well, Jimmy with the Prism Protocol team was able to create some insane dashboards using that on-chain insights. And it was it, it helped me understand what it means to optimize your farming positions on a platform so complex. Without those visualizations, without the access to that data, even if I don't know how to do the SQL, I get to see the chart and I get to make an educated decision as an investor. Key stuff there. Yeah, totally. It's it's really amazing. Um, again, once you have this foundational layer of data available and updating because we have, you know, these programmatic jobs that are continuing to do more ingestion um, and further adding fidelity to the data that's coming off the nodes, you can do anything. I mean, it's, yeah. it's really amazing once you have that data and you have that foundational layer. So um, we want to provide that foundational layer to the Terra 2 community. Uh, we want to create a space that allows analysts like with Jimmy and, uh, and others to build on top of it and to make those awesome dashboards. Perfect. All right. So just, just to hit on the top points, oh, go, go ahead, Evan. Oh, um, no, it, it's interesting because uh, as I understand, Metrics Dow is kind of a combination of uh, flip side. You've got rabbit hole. You've got uh, Dune Analytics, uh, all like the heavy hitters. You've got like the the. Uh, the NBA all-star team of data <laughs> analysts going on there. And I'm curious if it's a DAO, uh, is there any, is there any way like I can get in on this? Like, let me get some juice on this. Is there a token or something that's coming for this? Because I, I think it's, it's fantastic stuff. And uh, you know, all the platforms out there or rather all the protocols out there, uh, you know, benefit a lot from this kind of analysis. Um, but you know, what's, what's like the roadmap for you guys long-term? Yeah, Evan, I appreciate the question. Um, we are working on a protocol. So our protocol development team is getting some things set up. Um, we will have a token, a metric token. Uh, in the meantime, as we move towards that, we have a, a beta token that we're using called Xmetric. Um, so Xmetric is available to uh, participants in our system who perform different functions that drive analytical outputs. Um, and we're pretty excited to start to move our community on chain. So having some on chain representation for our community uh, and opening ourselves up to the composability that comes with that. Um, so yes, metric token is coming soon, TM. 
X metric token is live now. Uh, come over and hang out with us. Excellent. Love to hear it. And I'm sure you'll DM me to get me on the whitelist. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, what else you got for him? Get a seed round investment in metrics DAO token. That's going to be a, a lovely opportunity. Um, but no, at this point, I just want to hit on the high points of the proposal. Uh, this is going to be a grant of about $250,000 worth of Luna. And that's a stagnant fixed $250,000 lump sum. And the, the proposal will officially go live next week, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Just wanted to make sure on that with the estimation that the uh, the actual vote will go through and complete July 29th. Um, and so that's that's an exciting vote that's upcoming. I know I'm excited for it because I can't wait to be able to do all the analysis on the different protocols that are rebuilding. So, all righty. Well, Drake, I think Drake, you got anything else to say before we uh, kick you out here? Uh, no, I'm just going to reiterate, come hang out with us in Metrics Dow. Uh, metrics DAO on Twitter. Uh, if you want, anyone wants to connect to me, feel free to reach out. Drake Danner on Twitter. Um, always happy to meet new folks. So, thanks for having me on, y'all. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That's Drake from Metrics DAO. Go ahead and check them out. Where do the, where do the people, the fine folks out there that watch this show, need to go to to learn more? Uh, metrics DAO dot XYZ. Metrics DAO dot XYZ. You heard it from the man. Uh, go and check that out, Drake. We're going to kick you off, sir. It's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you so much. MetricStyle.xyz is the place to go.